Hobson Show was directed by David Lettish and stars Dwayne Durant Johnson, Jason Statham, Vanessa Kirby and Idris Elba. It's the first spin-off movie of the Fast and Furious franchise. I always liked Hobson Show, they were always hilarious in the Fast and Furious franchise. Even when they were in the jail cells and The Rock just like taking this bench and just start lifting it. And the whole going back and forth was really hilarious. So for them to make a spin-off movie, I was actually kind of excited to see it. Yet though, this movie doesn't quite deliver as I hoped so. The movie's entertaining. It has a lot fun action sequences. There are a lot of things. It's just, I think it's just like between the chemistry between The Rock and Jason Statham isn't um, they have chemistry but not the best i would say sometimes they, they don't always work together as well like when you see them on screen you know it's kind of like a mishmash i don't know if that was going for like that because you know since there are enemies in the movies and not supposed to be friends but you know at the end they're supposed to become friends and i think i think the main problem with this movie is just the plot is super basic and so overdone it kind of pulls the movie down in some way because the plot is Think of the most typical action movie plot you can think of. Idris Elba is a bad guy, is high in vents, yada yada yada. Two guys have to stop him. What could be the thing? It's like seriously, just basically fill in the blank. It's almost, we've done it so many times and I think it's just, you know, being from the Fast and Furious franchise, um, Yes, it's different, the type of plot, but still, like, the Fast and Furious, in Fast and Furious, there's still, I don't know, somehow, because it wasn't this typical generic action plot, it kind of, the movies somewhat, somewhat were kind of better, a little bit more entertaining. Of course, it had way more people in it, but just, like, the, the plot is so overdone and redundant, it's just, like, it kind of, like... You know, you know what would happen from beginning to end. This was kind of like there's no real mystery in this movie. Or maybe it was going for that. I mean, the Fast and Furious movie, but at least in the Fast and Furious movie, you kind of had like some mystery or something going on. Like in this movie, you know, from beginning, from the first shot, you know what's going to happen. You know, you know, from watching from this only from the trailer, you know what's going to happen. I think the characters between Hobbs and Shaw didn't get enough character development in the movie between each other, you know, for, for them to work better off each other. Because there's, you know, the most of the time it's just like in Fast and Furious. I hate you, I hate you. He's an asshole. I'm not working with, I'm not working with this guy. Oh yeah? I would say, which are funny scenes. I would, those, are the, the, those are the best scenes I would say from the entire movie. of Just The Rock and Jason Statham just throwing uh, jokes at each other the whole time. And like I said, the action sequences are fun. But there's also problems with that. Because the action sequences, there's a lot of shaky cam. And I don't know why. I mean, you have Jason Statham, you have The Rock. Jason Statham... He can do action. I mean, this dude has proven time and time. Transporter is still one of my favorite movies from Jason Statham. It's so much great action. And when you look at those movies and you look at this movie, I was like, it's kind of like an amateur made it in some way because the action is shot a lot of times in like, you know, like mid shots. You, you never, you do, you do get some full shots, but uh, a lot of mid shots and it's quick editing and shaking and stuff so it's just like it kind of turns down sometimes the action not all the time but there are quite a few moments when that happens so, so that kind of like turns down the action some way Idris Elba in the movie his character was actually fun his character was a lot of fun I really liked him he said I'm black superman his character was fun his character was really badass I mean he had this really awesome motorcycle this was really cool it was Elba character and him, that was really awesome in the movie, I really liked him. The way that all the technical stuff they had, that was a really step up. I mean, that motorcycle, if you watch the movie, that motorcycle did such a, it was just awesome, amazing. It was Elba, and I liked, the, and I liked his character. It was Elba was my favorite character in the movie, like the way his character motivation, everything. And, you know, he works for this big organization, um, who's also, of course, the most typical plot it uses. But it was interesting, at least. I think that was like the only like interesting plot point what they're trying to do. And yes, of course, they do set up for a sequel. Of course they would, because this is Hollywood, and of course they want to make a lot of money. <laughs> but I had, I still had a good time with this movie. It's enjoyable. If they decided to make a sequel, fine, I'll definitely go see it. There are also some few cameos, which are fun. One was actually just a little bit... It was fun to see that um, it's also a famous actor who's also in the movie. I'm not going to ruin it, because it was a surprise when I saw him in the movie. So, But I saw him, it's like... Oh, he's just doing his famous character. It's just like, it's a little bit, I know it was funny, but still, but I was just like, come on, man, really? A little bit like this, it felt. So like, yeah, there, there are some plot issues. Sometimes the characters, I, cry, I wish it would get a little bit more development because the action otherwise is good. This movie's like, it's, the movie's okay and fine. I'll give this movie like a six out of 10. 
Hobbs and Shaw. The movie is good. It's the movie's entertaining. It would entertain you if you like the rock, if you like Jason Statham. You go go watch the movie and have a lot of fun with this movie. Right. Thanks everybody for watching. Hope you have a great day, and as always, see you next time.